What's up guys, Iggy here with Foutech Unlimited and today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this. Now what you're looking at is a uh, SIG 365XL in storm gray carbon fiber with a custom image on it. Nothing special about it, no bells and whistles, but I'm going to show you uh, in depth how I'm going to do uh, this custom image. So let's get to it. There's a couple ways to do this and the way that I'm going to do this is the most accurate that I have figured out with getting everything going and installed on this. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this and we're going to load it on the computer. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I also want to mention that it is um, like 43 degrees outside in this cold New Hampshire night. So um, yeah, it's a little chilly. As you can see, I got a picture of the mold on the screen, and I'm going to go ahead and let's get the image that we need. And I'm just going to size it and throw it right on where we need it. So this is going to be a right-handed IWB. Um, so anytime I do a logo like this, it's going to go on the side against the body. And the clip, which is going to be right here, is going to have the uh, laser engraving on it. So um, we're going to put that there, and we'll size it. And we know that it's going to come down like so and then go over. And this is also getting the claw. So we're going to just fit it in there like so. So that's what it's going to look like. So the picture here, uh, the mold in real life is actually right here. It's seven inches wide. And I have this set up. So edge to edge is actually seven inches wide in the program. So that's how I made this work. So this right here will tell me where exactly it's going to go on the carbon fiber as long as I print it just right. And when you're doing this, you have to make sure that you, you can see that it is flipped because otherwise it is not going to look good. So right there will probably be good. I mean, we could also make it tiny and put it right there, but I don't know. I like to go big. So this will actually fit right about there. Let's go just a hair smaller. Yeah. All right. And let's uh, let's get this printed. And we're going to give you some settings here. I have an Epsom EcoTank 2720. That's what we're going to be using on this right now. And we're going to go to properties. What you want is you want to hit it on like premium photo, paper, semi-gloss, presentation paper, premium presentation paper mat. You want it on one of those. So I'm just going to do semi-gloss quality high. Okay. Then you want to hit more options. And then your high speed is going to be on. You want to shut that off. Okay. So shut that off. We'll hit OK. I'm just going to double check that everything is there. So quality high and high speed off. Bam. OK. Print. And that is what it's going to look like. You just got to remember that it's going to be opposite of what you do. So if we we're going to print uh, to be on this side, it has to be on the left side for when you flip it. Now with carbon fiber, I have learned that if you put it in the press while it's on, let it cook a little bit. Let it get a little bit warm because what happens, I guarantee you're going to know this. You're going to put it in there. You're going to drop the press. You're going to take it out. It's going to have all these little, you know what? Actually, it's going to have all these little bubbles and it's going to look like crap. I actually have, you know, unless I threw it out, I must have thrown it out, but it is will bubble there's uh moisture inside the kydex that you know you have to store it in a dry area but when there's moisture inside and you put it right in the in the heat press it will bubble and it'll look like crap and you lose the shine and everything like that so preheat your kydex before you do anything so i'm going to let that sit in there for a couple minutes uh i am going to um change the settings right here i'm going to go for a 390 for we'll call it let's say i usually do 400 seconds um might be a little long, so let's do like uh, 350, and then um, we'll get it going. As you can see, I place the paper where it needs to go. It is gonna go face down. This is gonna go over it. We're gonna press it. The rest is up to God. While it's in the press, uh, a little fun fact about me, if you didn't know, I don't drink alcohol. I love root beer and cream soda, but I try to stay away from sodas, but anytime I find a new one in the store, I grab it. So, Flying Cauldron Non-Alcoholic uh, Butterscotch Cream Soda. It's actually pretty damn good. So, if you guys are like, uh, you know, root beer cream soda fans, highly recommend. 
not too bad, not too bad. I like it. All right, guys, we have our holes pre-drilled. We're gonna throw trim jig on it. We'll cut it out on the bandsaw, get it on the router. And we'll show you how it goes. I mean, look at that. Yeah, looks real good. So let's get it done so we can go inside. And we are trimmed, ready to fold. And when we come back, it's gonna be almost done. And it's gonna claw. Let's get this assembled. Got everything here. Let's go ahead and start with the claw. And this gentleman asked to have all the hardware just in case he wants to take off the claw. So that'll just be thrown in one of the uh, little baggies that the foamy comes in. And get that in there. And get our threaded posts in. Let's get the foamy on. There we go. <laughs> and of course, the magnetic holster, my uh, fourth gen. Since I put these on sale, I think I've had it done like 30 of them in the past week. So these things are, it's a quick build. So they go out as soon as they get uh, ordered if I have everything in stock. But they, uh, yeah. Oh. Anyways, so here, 365XL, it's actually for the Spectra Comp with the custom image and the custom engraving heading out the door. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Huge thank you to Holstersmith and KnifeKits.com. Without them, none of this would be possible. And this one is actually going out to my hometown, or close to me, Concord, New Hampshire. And uh, I already sent a picture to the gentleman. He loves it. And moving on to the next one. Appreciate you guys. Hope you build something good. Have fun. See you later. Love you. Bye. And be kind.